India is an adventurous paradise. You head out for a holiday, which quickly turns into a survival situation. A dream turns into a nightmare. I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I'm hungry and I'm lost. Shelter, water and food become a priority. A fire to keep you warm. But how? I'm Chandan Lahiri from OTS Survival School. I'll give you some tips and show you some tricks to use in a self-reliant situation. Do not think problems can only happen to other people. It can happen to you. The desert is very prone to high winds and sandstorms. The sun beats down, heating up the sand, which heats up the air above it, which rises up, creating a low pressure area. And air rushes in, cooler air. That creates sandstorms. And you can't outrun a sandstorm. With all the sand flying around in the high winds, visibility becomes poor, and you can get disoriented very fast. You need to find shelter or make shelter, and you need to wait out the storm. Take a look. There's a storm building up. And these storms could last for hours. And it'll get into our eyes, it'll get into our nose, it'll get into our throat. So just cover your nose and mouth up with your bandana. And we need to wait out the storm. And what we need to do is find a shelter quickly. I don't see any shelter and the storm is coming in quick. So what we do is build a quick dugout, a sand cave. And we'll put our top shelter on that. So the storm will blow over us, will be under the surface of the sand. Let's do that quickly, because the storm is coming in quickly. We'll make the sand cave here. The wind is from that side, this is on a slight angle, which will protect us a little bit. And moreover, we'll be under the sand. Oh, we need let to do it quickly. Let's let let start digging. It needs to be deep enough for the two of us, so I think we'll dig about that much. Make it wide enough for the two of us and we'll start digging. Okay, here goes. Oh boy, this is tiring work. Digging the sand out. Okay, you want to try lying down here? Put your feet on that side, your head on this side. And you are lower than the sand. And I'll dig myself another one. All I'll do is put up a top sheet on top of this. Let me there. hold it out on both sides. Now that you are a shelter for her, I'll need to start digging mine. And what this will do is you have dug a cave or a grave or a dugout in the sand, which is below the surface of the sand, and put a top sheet on top of her. What that will do is when the wind starts to blow, when the sand starts to hit, it'll blow over the top sheet, over the person lying, in the, lying inside there, under the top sheet, inside the sand, way protected than one would be if you're sitting out in the open, even if you were in a shade on a leeward side of a dune. This is far more comfortable and way more protected by digging a hole in the sand. This took about five, six minutes. The problem with sand is the more you dig it out, more sand comes in from the side. That's what makes this job so tiring. These things happen to every adventurer who's out in the desert. A sandstorm can pick up any time. And just remember, it can happen to you. Learn to adapt, improvise, innovate, and overcome. To learn more tips and tricks, visit this site. I'm Chandan Lahiri, and I hope to see you soon at the OTS Survival School. Leave nothing but footprints. Bring back nothing but memories.